My name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. As usual, in tonight's nightcap, I've got quite a lot of car boot sale items. I went to a car boot sale uh, this afternoon with a, a friend, and we've got a lot of stuff between with. Um, there's a package package arrived from from her Blaine America. I'll show you what was inside of there. Uh, I do some more cooking. Short video I did on the blackberry crumble went down very well. I picked some more blackberries on Friday afternoon. I was off work. I uh, took my grand, grandchildren blackberry picking. They thoroughly enjoyed it. And I make an old fashioned blackberry pudding. But I actually do it in the microwave. I think you'll enjoy that. So I'll include that. This packet actually arrived a week before last. But I, I'd lost a bit of video I'd done with it. I mean, what's inside? It's a nice homemade mallet. Um, got a steel handle, nicely milled handle, and a hardwood head. I don't know what sort of wood it is. Uh, be nicely oiled, nicely finished off. There's no note in, but I know who it's from. It's from a guy called Herb Blair. Herb has a channel on YouTube, does some interesting machining work. Anyway, Herb, thanks very much. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. It might end up in the pattern making shop. This I've got some uh, nice chisels with wooden handles that I should be using possibly so I have to tap them with nice little lightweight ones anyway I think it'll end up in the, the casting shop and the pattern making side of things once again thanks very much the friend actually Stan the lad that does me, does me polo shirts fetched these up for us I've been messing about with that old Lister petrol engine and I've got a managed vacuum pump and everything on its whipwaff and all my Whitworth spanners and sockets I gave away. Uh, he had a set of Whitworth, Whitworth sockets, are actually brand new. So he brought them up for us, um, and I'm sure I'll be able to put them to good use. Thanks very much, Stan. Right, car boots and items. I found this bit of Bakelite, half inch thick Bakelite. It's always handy for various projects. couple of Whitworth spanners. Um, what drew me attention to them was, was there a, a, a make called Tipco. I've actually got some Tipco metric here at work that I bought when I was I bought when I was 16 so I've had it for 40 years. Uh, these are good quality English spanners. Nothing fancy just good quality English spanners. I found this. It's a small deragging tool and a box of spare blades for it. Very handy tool for, for deragging the ends of, ends of tubes or board holes. It's a nice sturdy boring tool there with a box of tips, nearly a full box of tips. There's another boring tool there. I'm sure I've got tips that will fit that one. 20 mil drill. It seems to be, doesn't seem too bad, but anyway, it's always got a handy number two most tape on to make a, a different tool out of. It's a small Jacobs drill chuck, number one most taper. Some centre drills, you can't have too many centre drills. These are dormer ones, quite a good make. And there's a box of a box of carbide tools, a box of lathe tools there, there's all kinds in there, parting tools, screw cutting tools, there's screw cutting form tools with various threads. Have a look through there and see what exactly is in there. In last Sunday's nightcap I made a blackberry crumble. I'm going to do a different blackberry dish. In this nightcap, I'm going to make a blackberry pudding in the microwave. What you need, you need some margarine, a couple of ounces, some sugar, self raising flour, an egg, some milk, and some blackberries. I picked these blackberries yesterday afternoon with my grandchildren. They've been steeping in salty water all night. I've just rinsed them off and picked out any nasty, creepy crawlies or bad blackberries. It's a very easy dish to make. First thing is we need the 
Put some sugar blending in with the, the margarine. About that much. There's no actual critical measurements here. As long as you, you get somewhere near it'll work, you know. They right, get mixed together. There's an egg goes in there as well. Trying to get bits of shell in, it's not very pleasant. Gets mixed up. Then we want some syrup raisin flour in. I think I see the proportions are critical. About that much looks about right. Right, want some milk in. This is all blended together. It's a little bit watery, so we'll put a, a bit more flour in. This is looking better. Right, we'll get the we'll always get a much, much better mix with a, the Bosch drill I find. That's the sort of consistency you want. A little bit thinner than plaster. That looks pretty good. Right now, I'll we'll add the blackberries. That's probably sufficient. A light mixing. The wheel settle as it's been cooked. Right. This then goes into the microwave. We want the microwave on full power. It'll probably take between five to six minutes to cook that. What we'll do, we'll give it three minutes and see what happens. And it's on high. Give it four minutes. I'm gonna make a conventional one as well. These are just blackberries, a little bit of water and some sugar. And use a pack of the crumble mix. I was surely going to mix it, break it up so there's no big lumpy bits. And all you do, you sprinkle it in nice and evenly. This goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for roughly half an hour. Right, my microwave is just pinned. Right, we'll have a look in here. See the pudding started, it started to rise, but it wants more. See, six to seven minutes for the pudding that size. It's time for another look. So you can see it's just about ready. 
it's, it's gone nice and light, it's actually four times the size it was when we put it in. A little bit more, but not much. It hasn't got any bigger, it sounds, it sounds hollow. Cooked all the way through, that's done. Maybe right, we'll serve some up. See where the blackberries are. It's nice and dry, you've got to make sure it's not soggy and wet. That looks like a good pudding to me. Once again, some ambrosia. Devon custard, and that'll do for John's tea. So that's a quick, simple method blackberry pudding. It tastes a bit like the old fashioned steam puddings that my granny used to make, and we'll give it a try. That's unbelievably nice. Really is nice, that. Huh? Mm. Beautiful. Unfortunately, the conventional pudding was forgot about. It has burned a little bit, but it'll still be it'll still be very nice. So there you have the, the modern microwave and the old fashioned oven method, CNC versus manual. This is, this is the, big, the big square I bought last weekend, the car boot sale. It's not a challenge but I was just wondering if uh, Aaron Booth or Tom Lipton actually had a bigger, a bigger square than that, a bigger tri square than that. I haven't cleaned it up yet but the thing your name on it. But uh, it is a monster. I've tried it on something that I know is square and it is still perfectly square or as near as I can, as I can measure. So Tom Allen, get your big squares out. Thanks once again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to all the people who ordered a polo shirt. Uh